Alright guys, I've been asked to compare the different ways of taking temperature measurements and we're going to decide which is the best way. I mean, I've got plenty of ways to measure temperature. We've got the Cooper uh, Electrotherm. I've got the field piece with the clamp and whatever you want to call that tip. I've got my amp probe with the K-type uh, we've got the field piece with the fluke clamp on my fluke 87 can't use this I had the older I had a different fluke it got stolen that I used to use this on alright but I've got that clamp on I've got my Testo 523's with the strap on it right now I've also got a clamp. I got my Testo 570s with the clamp. I've got my Testo 550s with the clamp. I've got a uh, point and shoot gun, whatever you want to call these things. I've got my Testo 905 and I've got a field piece stick type thermometer. Alright, so they've been sitting out here for about 10 minutes now. So just measuring room temperature just with the clamp just laying across the decking here. Let's see where we're at. Alright, with my little Cooper deal here, I'll try to get it in focus a little bit better. It's 85 degrees. With my field piece, we're at 85 degrees. With my amp probe, we're at 87 degrees. This field piece with the flute clamp, we're at 88 degrees. With this Testo, we're at 85 degrees. That's 523. With the 570, we're at 86 degrees. With the 550s, we're at 87 degrees. With the point and shoot, we're at 87, 88 degrees, 87 degrees. With my uh, Testo 905, we're at 87 degrees, and with the stick, we're at 86 degrees. So, pretty much is everything's at 86, 87 degrees. There is a lot of variances here, uh, but everything's within two degrees of each other. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to clamp everything to this pipe, and we're going to get a reading that way. Alright guys. I got everything. What I've done, I just taped these to the pipe clamp. This is going to my field piece. I've just got a tape. I don't have it insulated. Uh, I don't have any insulation, or I would have insulated it for you all. But this is just. I think it's going to be. I think it's all the same. All right. So we got taped. This is going to the field piece. This is my 523. I'm going to compare both of these. The clamp on and the strap on. Got two clamp ons. I've got my instant read, I've got my field piece strapped on, and we're going to take a temperature here. So right now, this is saying 89. I am on the pipe. It's saying 89. Okay, my instant read. It's saying 89, 90. So, yeah, right around 90. My 550s, seeing 87. My 570s are 87. My 523s, 87. My field piece with the flute clamp, 87. My amp probe, 88. Field piece, both types, 87. And my Cooper. 87. So everything is either shown to be 87 or 88 degrees. Alright, so just a quick little test for you all. You all could take this for what it's worth. Uh, but I say any way you want to measure it, that's the only one that reads off way far. That's saying 89. And so does this. This one's actually saying 89. Yeah, 89. 
everything else is 87 and 88 so you know take it for what it's worth uh, actually here temp one is here temp two I guess I need to do both of them 86.9 well shoot hit the wrong button 87 for one 86.9 so they're within two tenths of a degree and that's the it's got the square tip and just your stick probe and I do want to hook up this other clamp but I have to turn this off replace the plug and turn it back on so give me just a minute alright so this is the clamp this is the strap on right now I've got the clamp on the other one was 87 the clamp on is 87 so the vast majority of everything here is reading 87 so you all tell me alright guys so hopefully this will help out one of you uh, I don't know that really any thermometer is better than the other one not by this test I actually thought there was a bigger difference in them but this just kinda proved it wrong to me so you know so take it for what it's worth we appreciate you watching the videos and I'll work on getting another one up here soon take care and we'll see you on the next one